and what a lot of planning has gone into this over the past year. Dave Allen, the representative of course of this outfit, he's been in constant meetings with the police because to move a load like this along the narrow Dorset road between Bobbington and Tarrant Hinton is quite some task. A lot of planning has to go to deal with the logistics of the actual load itself and the meetings with the Bobbington officials. Looking at the Norman Box engine back there, Norman Box was one of the pioneers of the uh, heavy haulage days and he would have accompanied many loads of this uh, size and type on the roads. And the story goes that um, back in his day if one of the drivers fell ill there was nothing for him to put him in the caravan on the backup crew there for a couple of days as it was his opinion that um, it was better to spend two days in the caravan than a month in hospital. Whatever skills this crew has, they certainly improve them along the route. More experience every year. Enjoy every yard of it. Yeah, I first came here about ten years ago. Michael Oliver invited me down with me uh, with my steamroller when I first became famous through the television and media <laughs> and uh, yeah it's, <coughs> it's, it's very similar but a bit bigger I think and also it ain't raining it were like three inches of liquid liquid or milk chocolate when I was here last time <laughs> So yeah. I didn't bring the showman's this time? Well, we'll get covered with dust, won't it, on here? <laughs> uh, well, it usually gets covered with dust or with mud. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to watch then next yeah. weekend, up by yeah. Aylesbury. Mm. <laughs> we had a funny experience last night. We were wandering our weary way home from the beer tent and uh, Dr Giles' remains oh, came yeah. steaming across in his pyjamas. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, he'd been called out for somebody who got some muck in their eye, you know, and he'd... Uh, oh, well, he's a good fellow. It, fella. it, like, it was like Rip Van Winkle, you know, <laughs> walking striped pyjamas with cord hanging down yeah, front, uh, you know. Oh, he's a good lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thrashing uh, section is very picturesque, and of course the sound of thrashers are very, very uh, reminiscent for many people. The, the thrashing machine has a distinct hum. When the drum rotates, it hums out, and of course I can remember as a boy on a very, very cold and frosty morning hearing the sound of a thrashing machine working up to two and a half, three miles away. And uh, it's always very nice to hear the machines working up at the show. And uh, it's nice to see the corn going through because there's nothing more picturesque, I don't think, than sheaves of corn being handled. Whether it's being cut by the binder from standing corn or whether it's being put on carts and made into the corn ricks or whether it's being used to go through the thrashers and then the end straw being stacked up in readiness to go on pubs and cottages of the county.